One of the challenges in implant dentistry is to sculpt the soft tissues and then to transfer those contours to the laboratory model. This video will walk you through the use of BioTemps and the iOS FastScan digital impression system to do just that. One piece screw tain BioTemp crowns were fabricated to provisionalize implants in the areas of number 2 and number 15. The temporary restorations were seated. Once the abutment screws were tightened, a cotton pellet is placed over the head of the abutment screw and the excess opening sealed. The BioTemp crowns will help shape the soft tissue contours as well as maintain the prosthetic space. The screw tain temporaries will allow for easy retrievability. After a four month healing period, the excess openings were uncovered. The cotton pellet is removed, the abutment screw loosened, and the biotemp restorations were removed. Here you see the top of the implant and healthy soft tissue. A standard implant level impression would involve utilizing a conventional impression post. The problem is that impression posts are round and teeth are not. The iOS FastScan allows you to precisely capture the position of the implant as well as the soft tissue contours. The first step in the FastScan process is to spray a thin layer of the fast coat material onto the adjacent teeth, the gingiva, and the implant. The first scan is of an occlusal view. The scanner gives constant feedback. Once you have the correct alignment, you simply press the foot pedal to capture the image. Next, we took lingual and buccal images. You can see the red laser line sweeping back and forth, scanning 40 millimeters at a time. In fact, it covers that area in just one second. All the other digital impression systems require you to move the camera around. With FastScan, you simply hold the scanner in place while the lens moves, moving across the whole quadrant. In this case, you can see where you're able to scan all the way back to the third molar. A scanning abutment is then utilized to capture the position of the implant, including the abutment connection. This case involved using noble replace implants, and you can see the trilobe abutment connection. To get the most accurate impression, the scanning abutment should be seated so the flat faces towards the buccal or lingual. In this case, we had it facing towards the buccal. The abutment screw is hand tightened. If necessary, fast coat material can be reapplied to any areas where it has rubbed off. Occlusal, buccal, and lingual scan images are captured. The final shot is of the bite. The buccal surfaces of the opposing teeth are coated, and a scan of the bite is taken. The software then stitches all the images together to create one file. The scanning abutment is removed, the fast coat material is rinsed off, and the biotemp crown is replaced. The iOS digital impression is then sent to the lab where the restoration is designed on a CAD workstation. Here you see the technician contouring the abutment and the crown in a virtual environment. The transgenual section is designed to follow the soft tissue contours. The crown is adjusted to the opposing dentition. In this case, we requested screw retained Bruxer crowns. The crown and the abutment will be milled as one unit. Once the design is complete, it's sent over to a milling center. Here you see the restoration being milled from a solid block of zirconia. A base shade is added and the prosthesis is centered once milling is complete. Any final staining is then applied. The titanium base is looted into place and the restoration is finished. Delivery is a simple procedure. The biotemps are removed and the internal chambers of the implants are irrigated and dried. The restorations are seated and the abutment screws tighten. Because the gingival architecture was sculpted by the biotemps restorations and the contours were transferred to the lab through the iOS scanner, the restoration drops easily into place, no blanching or fighting with the soft tissues. Once the interproximal and occlusal contacts are checked and any necessary adjustments made, the abutment screw is tightened to the recommended torque. One technique to achieve the recommended torque is to tighten the screw with the torque wrench, wait 5 to 10 minutes, then retorque it. A cotton pellet or piece of gutta percha is then placed over the head of the abutment screw and the excess opening sealed with composite. Besides what we showed here in this case, the iOS provides additional advantages over conventional implant impressions. 
By working digitally, you avoid a potential distortion with impression materials and expansion of stone models. We encourage you to check out this technology and see what it can do for you and for your patients.